Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough through the wonderful world of Wasteland. In uh, the downtime I got ourselves a clone where essentially all we needed to do is talk to the professor that we uh, got and uh, ask him if he could clone ourselves. I also got uh, got us some medical uh, supplies, but figure I might need more. So just to show you, the cloning device is here. We can only have one clone at a time, but it appears that he is now following us, which is a good thing. So we got another independent supporter. Sure. Good. Let's buy enough this time. Cool. So, we're going to start this episode with uh, the strange guys that have uh, asked us for a little rendezvous. So, Gary Wolfie. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. You've been to the Ranger Citadel? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. So what do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again. So we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Oh. Okay. Uh, the synth is, synth is called October 11? Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caved some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. How will killing October 11 help us to find others? All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Okay. We'll add this runaway sin to our list. <laughs> add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Squad, at ease. Okay, so we got the secondary quest, but that's level 6. We're level 5. Not sure if that's a great idea so far. I think we're starting with unwelcome guests, where we need to go to Broadmoor Heights. And once we've done that, we might be going for that synth. I think I, I suppose it doesn't hurt to just ask Daisy or to find out where that October 11 might be or anyways uh, near her location weird there's that faint static might be them communicating what do you need Rangers what's on your mind a man named Gary Wolf stopped by our HQ he says you threatened to shoot him Damn on sight right I did crazy bastard was firing live rounds in the middle of the street. Oh, he conveniently forgot to mention to that. Of the museum. He tells me he's hunting some kind of fancy robot and he demands that I stay out. Nobody shoots up these streets. Not without my say-so anyway. Okay, so 
Oh, that's a strong hint that someone's maybe at the m museum. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Okay, we're not gonna go to the museum yet. I think we're just going to chill out for a moment. But maybe someone here has seen something. We get that radio static again. Woman is scrawling and kicking snow and glares to the border of the museum. Mm, is that the scent? Uh, who? Oh, hold on. You're the Rangers, right? Talk of the town. Well, Jungle who are you? Mariyama, sculptor, roboticist, amateur historian, and former curator of the Colorado Springs Museum of History. Mm -hmm. Former curator. Can you believe it? I really fixed up that museum. Before me, just a bunch of dirty old trash we had to go look at five times a year. And I brought the place into the 22nd century. Scavenged some old robot parts to rebuild the animatronics. Remade all the replicas from scratch. Cleaned all the blood off the scar collector weapons. Good stuff. Uh, we had a look at the exhibits. Oh, yeah? What'd you think? Good stuff. You should be proud right? of it. Nice to be appreciated. I mean, I didn't do it for the praise, but if you want to keep on, I'm way into that. <laughs> uh, okay, we can invite her. We've got a big space back at our new HQ. That would be perfect for a museum. Want to join? Okay, sure. Yes. Why not? Rad. Heck yes. Thank you. You won't regret this. I'll see you back at your HQ. I like the little building up the HQ thing, and so far, nothing backfired on us. But we were here to go for Broodmore Heights, so let's do that first, and we can come back later. So, this guy, by the way, is back in business. Welcome back to Cassidy's Fine Clothiers. What can I do for you? Thanks again for your help, old chum. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to... My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Very good. Cool, well that is going to be interesting. Let's leave the area. Broadmoor Heights. All right, I get it. Good. Just for reference, we're in episode eight, two death so far. One in the first episode, and one Welcome whilst fighting right clones. The what brings you to Broadmoor? We all feel we all feel safer with you Rangers around. I like the town. It's very well done. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. You just want eye candy. Guilty. Robo chicken. And there might be a generator. Maybe outside here. Hmm. Okay. I like it how two of the Broadmoor residents are cougars. Just waiting for a younger preacher. May the deluge spare you, my child. Blessed are the doomsday preppers, for they shall inherit the world. Gideon Rice. This man looks like he is, uh, he have been drawn by a mathematician. Precision cut luxury and manicured good looks. Ah, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know. And I am grateful. 
But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? Mm-hmm. That is so, Gideon Reyes. That is right. Your niece uh, is... A deputized ranger now. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Sounds like the problem is the Patriarch's policies. Why punish the refugees for that? Where are the refugees coming the from? Claims, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, people started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned. And all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. Uh, if the Patriarch doesn't care about that, we'll be doing this on our own time. Will you pay? Oh, of course. And not just in money. I do a lot of business with the local Arapaho Garage. And I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They Ooh. always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. I like it. All right, we'll look Thank into you. that for you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye. And well, easy to say when you are living in the rich uh, that you're doing a great service whilst uh, the others are freezing out there. So it's not that easy. I like how they present moral problems. Uh, sneaky muscular, more raptor than fowl. This uh, cybernetically enhanced chicken cuts an unusual menacing figure. It paces and prowls, clearly displaying at your presence. Your ranger now does not hesitate. The chip, uh, chicken simply falls into a lockstep. Every inch it is a trained warrior. Is it following us? No way. Really? Dude, we do have an entourage. We got Major Tom over here. We got a dog. We got a cyber chicken. And we got a clone. Too bad that they help us in combat but never really get attacked. All right. Uh, skill book. Love it. And then we got a flamethrower. Holy, that is good. I like that as well. Flamethrower ammunition. And... A tactical weapon uh, mod easier to hold okay well uh, let's take a look I mean our level uh, 7 sniper could use some modding if that is not the case then our level 10 pulse gun could use some modding There we go. Level five. Um, level five axe. Good. Our big and heavy weapons guy Ramos uh, is uh, up for no good. Look at that flamethrower, baby. Ramos reloads it. We're not having a lot of ammunition, but we have some. 
and I intend to make use of it. Penetration 99, which means it goes nicely through. It goes nicely through any armor. Oh, so good. I like it. Great find. Let's explore uh, Broadmoor Heights because so far, I mean, we got unwelcome guests, uh, travel to the biz uh, bizarre and confront the human smugglers. We don't even know where the uh, bizarre is. I thought it was bazaar, but maybe I uh, misread that. So you approach, service of Twitches. We just want to take a look around. Your presence has not been requested. You may not pass. We have information about Bellamy Ward. Okay, lots of uh, servitors. We don't want to stir any trouble here. Oh, oh uh, we're just talking, strangers. No need to get any closer. <laughs> and these guys are funny. Couple of Marshall trucks. Diligent Joe. Uh, that's the Patriarch's Palace. I see. Yes. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm Diligent Joe. Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. Good day. All right, we could go in, but we don't have any updates for him, really. None of his children. Uh, let's get some ammo out of uh, their box. Fantastic. That's good. And whilst we're at it, let's get some more ammo. Did we just get a level? Fantastic. We did. Okay, cool. So, uh, with Ramos, I think more AP would be great. Strength isn't bad at the moment, so I actually think a little bit more AP would do the trick. So we're starting with that. Yes, please. Uh, lock picking. Oh no, we wanted to big guns aid, right? Oh yeah, we wanted big guns eight because that's what we, why we're saving our um, our current points. Um, unfortunate. That's like what four points we're getting two if we're going to put it into lock picking. We at least get something out of it for now, and we still. Now we get three points. Oh wait. Well, we had zero skill points, so we're getting three points, and we need four in order to upgrade. So lock picking two is fine, and then next time we can get um, the guns eight. Plus, essentially, get that level eight trade that we were looking for. So that's the Palace of the Patriarch. Very nice. I'm seeing he's not uh, shy of spending resources on his own little palace there. Planted on the day of the Patriarch's birth. I see. LB, whatever that means or stands for. Are there any secrets here? No, none that we're aware of. Yeah. 
ancient love letter. Memorial Park and the monument. Is there anyone here? Resident, resident, resident. Not really. Yep. The Dorsey's done tore through here and gutted the house until the Castillos can get this asshole repaired. We're keeping it boarded. Could they just close down that house? Fair enough. Anything else that we got here? I like that there are a couple of secrets here and there, so that you're really incentivized to look out for anything. Uh, that house seems to be closed. I haven't seen another entrance My so far. Will be avenged. No, they just boarded it. Might be a quest for later. Game does a relatively good job in not letting you run into super high level quests, but since you can explore the world, I suppose you could also play in a completely different style. At the moment, I'm okay with the hand holding approach here. It feels so empty now. Of course, we just raised lock picking, but you need yet another point of lock picking. Damn, Dorsey's weren't content to couldn't even leave my memories of this place alone. My house was the first place the Dorseys went. Probably walked right in through the front door, stole my parents and little brother away, and then took out their anger on the house. It's odd, but you can make out smashed scraps of wood, splintered doors. Doesn't look like the attackers left much of anything no point behind. Back there. It's smashed up even worse, and the Dorseys took everything worth stealing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Couple of traps there. Wow. Daddy really didn't want any Dorsey's to Mama used to love sitting in here. She'd be ashamed at the mess it's in now. Luckily, we got explosives. But unfortunately, we don't have explosive 6. What is actually happening? Another toaster. Something is happening with those toasters, and I don't know what it is. It's like an inside joke, and I'm just not on it. Another bladed weapon. Oh, oh, wait, 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 another flamethrower. How oh, is that going? Fantastic, fabulous. So, wait, uh, your flamethrower is level 7. And this beauty of a flamethrower is also level 7. As a matter of fact, the exact same flamethrower. Okay. If... We had uh, better lock picking. We could steal more. It's interesting because it says there's nothing behind that rubble. But somehow I doubt it. It's a fully fledged house there. Let's just for shits and giggles try to get that rubble out of the way. Okay, can't do that. Well, no messing around with the rubble this time. All right, so we got Travel to the bazaar and confront the human smugglers. I think that's what we're going to do next. Ward estate, can't enter there. 
Western Estate, can't enter there, Greenhouse. Um, well, I think we're just going to uh, get out of here then. And let's get to the bazaar. I think we need to travel the world map. Wait, wait, wait. What's uh, this? The greenhouse. And how do we get in there? Nobody's starving in this part of the town, and assuming that they uh, like cabbage, beets, and other stuff. Okay, cool. It's good. Apparently, we can't get in there. Okay, well, time to travel back. I just wonder, should we do October 11 first? No, it's a higher level quest. And if I learn one thing, the fights on Supreme Jerk are quite brutal. Oh, wait, uh, there is something else no worth... In there. What's in there? Word didn't you understand? Please, step away. Large container. Okay. If we could sneak in there, that would be great. But I don't even know how strong the marshal deputies are. Scandal at Little Vegas nightclub. Rigo links to Dorsey attack. What I do know is that we didn't be uh, didn't have the chance to open that safe beforehand, but now we can, and that gives us the Mangler um, rocket. Uh, that is important. Finally, got a bit of ammunition, weapon modification, armor modification. Okay, cool. So. Four starters. We're currently not using a rocket launcher, and we already got a mangler. And now that we do have one shot, 120 for that one shot. In terms of armor modification, we can use that nicely. More armor means we're not going down that easily. But I already learned that armor it doesn't seem to be everything here because. You unfortunately can't uh, protect yourself against fire and other stuff. There's a switch. Can you somehow get in there from behind? Potentially not, right? No. Okay, well. Next on our list, uh, I think we need to take the Kodiak. And drive to the outside location where those smugglers are I mean we got a robo chicken we got Major Tom we got a dog and we got a clone for us and there's that feigned robotic static again Okay, cool. Colorado Springs. So what do we have? Denver, not discovered. What's up here? Aspen, not discovered. The Bizarre. Alright, that's exactly where we want to go. Nice! How great is that? Ooh, wow. <laughs> and y'all ran off like cowards before I could find you. Well, now you're gonna come find me. Unless you want all of Colorado to hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk because you was too chicken to save them. Got a whole family trapped in their homestead. About three generations worth. 
Fantastic. They hit that redneck uh, tone so well. Rest is who? No idea who you are. <laughs> Real funny, Rangers. Real fucking funny. I caught one before they all got in the door. Well, how do you like their jokes? The rest of them go when I get bored, Rangers. So you better hurry, cause I was born restless. Okay, home, uh, hotstead undiscovered. I see. Well, it is almost near. Let's do those slaves first, though. The bees are. November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed, and these motherfuckers are circling back. Oh, fuck! Here they come! Up. 44. Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location. Ah. Lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen. This isn't just any convoy. A44 is hauling new Ooh. power armor for the marshals. That sounds important. The Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast and you should be able to... Okay, the caravan. Uh, heads or tails? Travel to the Hoon's hopset or the location of uh, the caravan. Well, we're going to go for the caravan. Sorry for uh, the folks, but the good of many outweighs the, uh, the good of the individual. Oh, oh, wow, I can drive over something. I'm so sorry. Rangers. Name's BB Gun. Glad to meet you. Hey, you guys been really getting the job done, but listen, we've been doing a little civil forfeiture and we need to turn some impound into cash. And before you answer, here's a free sample for being such a friend to the marshals. Now, you want to see the rest? Thanks for being such a great example. BB marshals are teaching us, uh, treating uh, us so much. I'll tell the others you said so. We could steal. Civil forfeiture means you took the stuff from suspects, right? Were they all guilty? Oh, yeah, guilty as hell. Trust me, every one of them. Yeah. Fair enough. Than fair, Rangers. This is some prime shit. Okay, let's see the stuff. Uh, a couple of really nice armor modifications, I like that. But I don't see a lot of a lot of uh, discount on these items. But we can use her in order just to sell a couple of our items in return. I think we're good. That flamethrower would uh, be quite valuable. We could sell the junk or we're just keeping it for now. I think we're fine. They're ready to read the road and you won't see them again. I assure you won't. Uh, let's stay. Do they have anything that is really, 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 really good? The prices are just too expensive for us, so... No. Okay, so, uh, so that was that little uh, shed there. All 
right, let's enter the area. Fabulous! We got ourselves the first point of interest. So far we're doing well. You won't get away with this. Eliminate the scar collectors, but attack the caravan. You pathetic shit! You think we're scared of a few mercs? I won't give you to Slave Master RJ. I'm gonna keep you for myself! You can watch me murder rangers for years! When you finally lose hope, you'll use your head as a hood ornament. <sighs> Let's get started after I take your supplies. Wow. There's always one extra level of cruelty whenever you think that this game couldn't be uh, portraying a more messed up society or more violent. Then you find out that the game says, hold my beer, I actually can. Good, this time we got uh, the first jump on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Executing order. You must be kidding me, right? That was so good. These guys have 200 hit points and we do have a massive, massive Kodiak. Okay, alright, we're talking. Bomb Thrall. Uh, doesn't take a genius to figure out that that guy needs to go. We don't know how far that bomb thrall can come in. What we're going to do is we're going to head here and hit the legs of the bomb thrall. He's now thro uh, slowed and is bleeding, that's good. Healing for mechanicals or hack a robot? Can we? Now we can't hack a robot because there is no ro uh, robot here. But we can heal mechanicals, which we have the chicken, I suppose, is mechanical. If we ever need it. Until then, it is just a 3 AP shot for some damage, which isn't too bad. Why is it enemy's turn? We have... Oh, we... I see. Only part of our rangers could actually act. Fair enough. Oh boy. Quan goes down. That's the exact last person that we want to go down. Does it hurt us or doesn't it? The answer is absolutely not because the Kodiak is such an is such a massive beast. Holy, that was good.
Central. Moves up. Hits it, and there was a chance that it goes berserk, but apparently that did not happen. Uh, Quan, on the other hand. It's gonna take full cover. Out of range, out of range, everybody is out of range, with the exception of that uh, Scar Collector Cyclops. Damn it, Murphy needs to find a position where he can effectively snipe. Not great, but you know what? What we could do is we could just let him do an ambush. There is something in here that can disable the heavy turrets. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that we're going to get all the way there. Hogbite moves over, burns in the process. And just waits for any ambusher. Yeah, we, we just don't have great cover anywhere. I think where we do have great cover is... How do... How do you actually run through that fire? Oh my lord. Could move to here <clears throat> and hit that other cyborg. Might be a start. Ramos has a lot of AP. Bomb guy moves in. Well, that was to be expected because the Kodiak did just kill a lot of them. Let's try to take out that bomb scar. Nope, didn't happen. We could repair it, but boy, would Quan be a target if he does so. The other option is to get in there. But well, that's not happening either. Machine is potentially just taking that uh, sentry turret is just taking too many shots. We're better off getting into that house, but that's unlikely to happen either. Damage the weapon, which is good. Try to hit the CPU so that it does 
Fantastic, it now attacks their allies, which is what I was hoping it would do. Good cover here for Lucia, that's good. Central could repair, but that would be a death sentence for him. We're slowly but surely marching over. Quan could be the one going over here and then deactivating. That could be an option. Or Quan begins to just heal himself. Patch up. What, what does he get? Oh, nice. And he puts in healing over time. And whilst we're at it... Hopeite moves a bit to there. Quan moves a bit to there. And tries to Ready for give Hogbite that uh, healing over time as well. like what I'm seeing I think what we're going to do six four yeah we're going in here and we're teaching this guy a lesson good hit not perfect but good Good, Central killed someone. That is great because since he's the leader, that will give everybody a nice little bonus boost. And now the smoke grenade here would effectively help us quite a bit. Prepare for next round. Uh oh. Whoa. We need to take care of that sentry. Just dealing too much damage. Trick shot on this guy. Moves over here. Tries to hit again, but unfortunately not working. Marshall Quan. Gets back up. And Quan needs cover. Murphy waits. Central will be revived soon. Let's 
Scar Collector takes a hit. And since we do have multi-attack, things are going very well for us. Take over the points for next round. And we do the same over here. Now the sentries are beginning to fight each other, which is fantastic. Good. L listen, Hogbite. Help Central up. Can't really do anything against that turret at the moment. We don't have the firepower. Good hope the CPU hit will turn it around. That's a nice little crit. We're out of ammo. Not good. Reload. Trying to hit that CPU again. Murphy moves to here, kills the target, and then frees up some room over here. Moving up with Quan, who helps Central, and Central also gets the healing over time. But not only does he do that, he also begins to repair the Kodiak. Which brings the Kodiak back in action, baby! If the Kodiak drives here... That blocks off that entire area. Whilst Ramos is moving to here and teaches uh, this guy a good lesson. And Central is just waiting for next turn. Oh wow, look at you. Everybody is bleeding. Fantastic. Almost. Yeah, their own sentry gets them down. Okay, the Kodiak is an absolute beast. Does take a lot of damage, but 
its damage and what it did at the beginning very much made out um, made out for that oh wow Cool. So, wait, 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 wait. Um, we got some bleeding here. She uses this on herself. Bleeding takes f for how long? Ah, just a couple of turns. Okay, cool. Ooh. Okay, big fight. Well, Hogbite. Uh, Hogbite definitely needs some more actions. So coordination would be good. Strength wouldn't be bad either because that's raw power in melee. That is a big fat melee bonus, but not as big and fat actually. It's just three percent. No, we're we need more action points. So coordination is the key here. And we either go for more melee combat. Which we can't, or more animal whisperer, which we could. I tell you what, let's wait for melee combat nine because then we can afterwards go full into animal whisperer, assuming that there is a melee combat skill book somewhere. Lucia did very well. Two, four, five. That's another action point for her. Great. Love that. And she has small arms, which is good. Weird Science is good as well. Uh, Weird Science is actually very good. So let's go with that. Central gets charisma up because that is super good next up afterwards will be coordination he's doing a good job at the moment and i think we're just gonna keep on increasing leadership because that works very well so far i like the kiss s and hard s um, options as well and that only costs two points. Going with one more kiss ass. So we do have leadership, uh, demoralize, uh, insult an enemy, distracting them, lower hit chance and critical chance. That's not bad for two AP, it's fantastic actually. Provide a 2 AP bonus to allies in an area. Hmm, that's not bad either. I think we're going to go with that. Oh, that's a fantastic ability. Double tap isn't, isn't bad either. But let's go with uh, the rally because I, I like that there is nothing after leadership 5. But the demoralize seems good as well. I like that idea. In terms of first aid, using healing items also boosts the target's max con. That is good. That is not bad at all. Nerd stuff. Uh, robots you hack will now be attacked by other enemies. That's not bad either. Bonus damage to robots. Uh, that's okay. Hmm. I'm torn between the overhealing, which would give us more survivability if and when it happens. Or the override. Unfortunately, so far we have not gotten a single robot, but we're healing every single combat. So let's do that overhealing. What else do we have here? Reviving allies. Uh, gain plus 50% damage. <laughs> Hypocritical oak. Uh, oath. Uh, that is cool. 
uh, for him. I mean, he's fast enough on the battlefield. I don't think we need any more. Intelligence is good, awareness is good. Let's get some more coordination going. And in terms of skills, automatic weapons definitely would be nice, but point being, we need to hit those minimum thresholds for mechanics, for instance, in order to even do something, right? Yeah. Good. As for Ramos, let's start with the important part, which is big guns need to be leveled. Yes. And then the perk that we're getting is steady shot. That was a what was or is a very good perk. I like his heavy weapons. They are great at the moment. Weapon modding? No. Target an area with your rocket launcher? Not good either. I don't like that. This here isn't bad. I like the idea of gaining more grenades because grenades are great, but we seem to always have too little of them. And allowing us to gain grenades is good. Will just help us a lot. Fire resistance and explosive resistance also very, very good. What else do we have? Flamethrower attacks engulf targets, reducing their hit chance. I think you need to either specialize on flamethrowers or heavy guns, right? And in in my perspective, we are already too far down that heavy gun route. So we're just going to go all the way with the heavy guns. I am thinking about the move up because that extra combat speed on the first turn is very good just to get in position and then take a shot on top of it. So logic here is we want to be able to really do well in the first turn two four five gets another ap on top of it team is coming together very nicely we're now level seven all of a sudden holy moly and and we got murphy here the most inappropriate all of all murphy's uh, gets his uh, sniper rifle further up i think there is nothing wrong with that Getting awareness will maximize our hit chances and then afterwards it's finally coordination time. Good. He's now max intelligence, max awareness. Let's get coordination up and then maybe luck for crit. Doesn't need a lot of speed, charisma and strength, that's so fine. Uh, character is pretty straightforward. I am not 100% sure what I, uh, how I like Serial Killer. It has triggered this time, so that's good. And I like his idea of also having... Of also having... Uh, small arms. Uh, the shotguns aren't bad. What hasn't really worked yet is first attack after reloading costs no AP. I've forgotten the one time, I think it was in the uh, fight against uh, the um, against the clones, the one time that I could have done it, it really didn't work out. But I'm sure we're going to go uh, to become better over time. Specifically this here, hit chance, if you did not move for a turn, I think that's good. I just need to position him better. And uh, the rest will automatically come. The rest will automatically come. Good. Now that we have uh, leveled up, let's see what else we got here. Bit of junk, crafting components. Oh, lots of crafting components. Oh, oh. Wow. That's a lot of crafting components. More crafting components, you wouldn't have guessed it.
Um, you know, we're going to go back to HQ anyway, so no point in using our wound. Well, mm, maybe. We do have a couple of injury kits, right? Yes. So, use them on self. And really, we didn't have that big of a problem, so now we don't need to go back to... Now we don't need to go back to... HQ. Oh, this is going to be good. No, we don't want to travel outside of Colorado. I just want to make sure that we can go in here. Can you go down there? Oh yeah, the answer is yes you can. Careful, careful, careful. That there might be traps here. Level seven heavy machine gun. Mwah, fabulous. We're being rewarded for our patience. Where's that big, fat, beautiful gun? Look at that. 11 to 15. And our old gun did like what? 10 to 13. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Modify. Extended magazine. There you go. Got a explosive skill book. arsenal of any resistance the truth i'm brad conway and today we're going to talk about those strange reports from the antarctic wastes what are the creatures that have been sighted by multiple sources off the frozen coasts of earth's southernmost continent some say there are human machine hybrids stalking the tundra are some kind of monstrous government experiments taking place somewhere in those icy seas? And if so, who in our government is responsible? And what is the purpose of these unholy creations? At first glance, a man looks like just another corpse among many, but a sudden sharp twitch indicates a fast fading glint. Battered and listless, his face covered in dying blood. There's barely a hint of a breath coming from his lips. Diagnose the man's wounds. There are signs of internal bleeding. He's in bad shape. And with an injury kit uh, and a field surgery uh, for the worst of his wounds, he should be stable enough. Okay, injury kit it is. countries he likely live and uh, if we can get him to a safe place okay I assume the game uh, thinks that we're taking them to a safe place right right Shit. who the hell are you guys here to finish me off we're Rangers ma'am we received a distress call and they're over Rangers here to help Ribs are cracked. Our caravan's been ransacked. I'm drive train. Caravan leader. If you save my people, I'll owe ya. How else can we help? Find my people. They're wounded. Scared. Definitely weren't prepared for this. 
Our medic. Sirens. Sirens was in my car. When those half metal pieces of shit dragged him out. Now he's gone. I just hope there are others left to find. What was your cargo? No, the details. But the highest value goods always go in the middle of the convent. I'm glad the scar collectors couldn't break into it before you showed up. I suppose we don't need all our travel and stops. Okay, well, there's another man in dying need. If this uh, woman noticed November's approach, it's hard to see her angry, worn face. Is she sitting alarmingly large pool of blood? Diagnose the woman. She's covered in severe concussions and laterations. Chunks are missing from her arm or in arms. Uh, the worst of the bleeding could be stemmed with a su suture kit. We have one of those, right? No, we do have uh, actually a couple of those. Thank you. Thought I was a goner. Okay, anyone else here? So we got shotgun, we got Georgia overdrive. There's by the way a container back here. And a hidden path. Okay, fair enough. Lots of money. I like that. Bit of alcohol, which uh, reminds me. I think we could use a zip here. Not a Molotov cocktail, though. Uh, give me that sweet, sweet booze. There we go. Boobies light. Junk, uh, but also a scrap helmet, uh, which gives hard ass plus one. I like that. Uh, that definitely looks like we are trading in critical chance for... No, we don't have uh, the strengths to take it. Never mind. Hard ass and armor. You know what? Hogbite sort of looks better that way. And he does have hard as one, so sure, why not? Good, so as always, there was a hidden path, one that would have gotten us right to the generator. And that would have meant no sentries. Would have made the fight substantially easier, but see, those are the little things that you learn once you go through these uh, fights once. Colorado. Okay, so either way goes to Colorado. I see how it is. Well, that's a bunker. We already have been there. Any news, Rangers? We found two survivors. Two more. Three, I suppose. We'll start patching ourselves. And the vehicles. Get rolling to Colorado. We'll make it, thanks to you. 
Wait a second, can we still snatch some of the cargo here? No. Apparently not. Well. Any news? Rangers? Gonna need some time for the endorphins to wash out. The pain, Arapaho HQ. We'll get someone out here. Happen to lead the flame, and those fuckers must have been. Okay. Well, well, well. I think that's as good as it gets. Let's leave the area. Ranger HQ calling Team November. Come in. Yeah, we have a lot of interested parties asking about the Arapaho caravan. Anything to report? Uh, we took out the ambush party and secured the cargo. It's on the way to Colorado Springs. That seems like a good idea. Good to hear, November. Stay safe in the snow. Over now. Oh, that was a good fight. And I think that concludes uh, the end of today's episode, guys. We've been going for quite a while. I would assume as well that the other quest failed, right? Heads or tails? Yeah, I think that failed. So next uh, next time, well, there is still the Hoon homestead, so we could theoretically make it there. But there is also the uh, bazaar where I think we need to go next. That's definitely going to be our next point of interest. But all of that is happening the next uh, time. I think for today we're done. Thanks a lot for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you like Wastelands 3, don't be uh, like the guys with the uh, convoy and get ambushed. Ambush the like button first, because that's the only way of how new episodes are going to be released. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you in the next time. Bye-bye.